You might remember this slogan from a famous commercial. Nothing says loving like something from the oven. Well, Laura Faber found a bright and cheery bakery in West Nashville in the nation's neighborhood that will surely whet your breakfast appetite. It's 6.30 in the morning, and this cheery bakery in West Nashville has been in full swing for hours. Fresh baked goods are being prepped for customers who come to Brightside Bake Shop. From delicate and sweet Velrona chocolate stuffed croissants, drizzled with dark chocolate, sea salt, and powdered sugar, to the exquisite and savory sausage and cheddar brioche, Pastries like these guarantee a gastronomical experience. For baker and owner of Brightside Bake Shop, Andrea Borchers, this is a dream come true. The earliest I can remember is kindergarten. Kindergarten career day, I told my mom I wanted to be a baker and I dressed up as a baker. I feel like that's where I first saw my love of baking and baked goods um, was going to grandma's house and she would always have something prepared on the stove. There's a certain happiness that comes with that and a simple joy that I wanted to share with the world too through Brightside. With a background in marketing and entrepreneurship, Andrea worked in the corporate world for a while but knew she wanted to give her passion a try. She is a self-taught baker and took specialized brioche and croissant classes at both Le Cordon Bleu in Paris and at the San Francisco Baking Institute. She knew breakfast pastries was where she would make her mark. In fact, the first bakery-worthy item she made is now her specialty, the cinna roll. The entire process from start to finish takes three days. We make the dough on the first day, we roll it out on the second day, um, and then on the third day, we do like the glaze and the frosting. So it's one of our mo more involved pastries, especially in the morning when we're glazing and frosting and everything, but that's what makes it special and worth it. So it has a vanilla glaze on it and a whipped cream cheese. So it's one of our more decadent items too, but also the look of it is kind of over the top um, with the frosting on top. And a lot of people are like, oh, that looks too sweet. But then when they eat it, they're like, it's not super sweet um, because of the buttery brioche. It kind of balances it out. This is the 2016 version of Bright Side Bakery, one of the first mixers that Andrea used when she was starting her business. A wedding gift from her husband used in her home kitchen. She's obviously come a long way since then. She now uses a dough laminator, a modern day rolling pin, and commercial mixers and ovens and refrigerators. But her bake shop journey was slow and steady. Andrea started selling pastries on the weekend at the Richland Farmer's Market, where she built a loyal following. Eventually, the time was right, and Brightside Bake Shop was born. But since we built it up step by step, customer by customer, literally waited till the day people were begging us to open a shop, and I knew those people would show up on our opening day, that's what I feel like makes Brightside special, too, is like we've cultivated that community and that connection with our customers and they're the ones that have supported us from day one. Alright, thanks Jack. Have a great day. Uh -huh. So it's kind of amazing and I'm so grateful for everyone that's helped us along the way from our community to our team. Yeah, it's really something special. Hi Ray, how are you? Give me one second, I'll get you on for you. Days can start as early as 1.30 a.m. as everything in this small batch bakery is made from scratch. The weekly grocery list includes 200 pounds of European butter, more than 700 eggs, 350 pounds of flour, and lots of freshly cut herbs. The results are gorgeous and delicious. 
This is our double chocolate roll. So this is made with croissant dough, that, but it's not laminated. It's rolled with chocolate chips and brown sugar. And that's pretty popular too, right? Yes, these are both pretty popular. Um, our sunshine roll has a little orange zest with brown sugar, so this is more like citrusy, and this is going to be your chocolate with cocoa powder version. Andrea challenges herself to make her pastries better every day with a simple mission, creating joy by baking days brighter. This is like my dream. So it's like everything combined. I mean, from being a part of this amazing team to what we bring to the community on a daily basis to interacting with customers to the baking itself. Um, and notice I said the baking itself, like one of the last things, which is like the reason I first got into it, but so much has come with that that I just love every day. Thank you, Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.